Connecticut has abundant, high-quality habitat for birds and other wildlife. We have amazing, unfragmented forest blocks for such a highly populated state. We have some great grasslands, some very important floodplain forests, and some globally significant tidal wetlands, islands, and beaches. Long Island Sound itself is an amazing and important landscape. But Connecticut also has the highest percentage in the country of what is known as the urban wildlife interface. That is where high quality wildlife habitat co-occurs in a developed landscape. Extensive research in our region's urban areas has shown that even in the middle of America's largest city, migrating birds were gaining body mass at rates that were comparable to or higher than in wilder natural areas. This was an unexpected but encouraging finding and the first empirical evidence that urban parks can provide high quality stopover habitat for migrating birds. The genius of the MODIS network isn't just that the tags and receivers are relatively cheap, it's also that all the tags broadcast on the same frequency to which all the towers are tuned so that any tag on any organism can be picked up by any station. In just a few years, MODIS has generated hundreds of millions of detections on thousands of birds, bats, and insects. But MODIS does more than expand our understanding of migration. It's helping conservationists identify the critical places that birds need to rest and refuel along the way. The country's 560 plus national wildlife refuges may be the best known component of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service's activities, but when it comes to protecting wildlife and connecting wildlife to people, there's nothing more immediate and direct than its urban programs. They improve wildlife habitat in cities like New Haven and strengthen the neighborhood partnerships to plan and carry out improvements. The result is places like West River Memorial Park, the Cherry Ann Street Park, and almost 25 other wild habitats within the city of New Haven. Connecticut has about 80 miles of sandy beaches. These thin ribbons of habitat support some of our most imperiled species, yet they are in the busiest and most urbanized areas of our state. Those who view the beach as only a place to play may be surprised by the concept of beaches as habitat for rare birds. But such a discovery is the first step towards shifting the recreation culture to a share the beach culture. By changing the attitude to one of sharing and tolerance for wildlife's needs, we will see a big conservation win in maintaining Connecticut's biological diversity for future generations. In Connecticut, our urban areas are extremely important for migratory birds. Our unique combination of coastlines, ridgelines, and river valleys, all near urban areas, serve as transportation superhighways during migration. These Connecticut habitats provide critical migratory stopover habitat that allows birds to pause and refuel during these long distance journeys. Connecticut's urban areas are fragile ecosystems that need to be recognized, supported, and maintained. Devoting our attention to this is a wise investment. It helps our economy, it helps our health, it helps connect people with nature, and it helps ensure that this amazing diversity of wildlife in Connecticut remains part of our natural heritage.